welcome to this week's beginner's guide or new tutorial from Tough Rocks HQ. This week we're going to be looking at bumblebees. Now I know that we've done a bumblebee before but as you saw from the picture at the very beginning these bumblebees are not the flat type they're completely different. So there's going to be hopefully a lot less waffle from me this week but before I stop waffling if you could hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell i'd really appreciate that so let's get right on with the project so the first thing we're going to be doing on this little guy is his head and this is a nice circle now i'm using a black paint pen here so it will show up for you you guys can use a pencil now his body, you can do short and wide, long and slim, the choice is yours. I don't know what shape this one's going to be, but we'll see. So the body now is the left heart. So we're going to start in the middle, just underneath his head, and draw our level. Because you guys have got pencils, okay, if you go over the head part, with the line for your love art, that's completely fine because you'll be able to paint over that easily. It's going to be a bit more difficult for me with a pen. So I'm just going to turn him to the side. And now his wings. You've got a choice here. You can either use turn him side on and do tops of the love hearts for his wings, or you could just do two circles and come over on his body but I'm going to try and minimize what I get on his body here so let's have a look what I can come up with here you can do big ones you can do small ones that well, looks about right to me okay let's do this side and there's your outline now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undercoat him in white to begin with so I can hide all these black lines and we will carry on from there. Once your undercoat is dry it's time to paint the love heart and his circle for his head in yellow. Our next task, now that he's 100% dry, is to put some outlines around his body and his head so we can determine where the stripes are going to go. So I'm going to do that now. Now that we've done that, as you can see I've used a paint pen, you guys can use a thin paintbrush. What we're going to do is follow the roundiness of his head and paint in some stripes. We are getting paint all over me. Now, as you can see, that's not straight, which is great, which is exactly what I want. So this is going to be one stripe. That's another stripe. And I'm just going to put a little black bit in the end and bring it to a point. Now that he's all dry, we can put in our eyeballs. I'm going to use um, a small towel and some black paint. Oh, there he is. Obviously, we've got the little mouth to go yet. So whilst we're waiting for those to dry, we're just going to have a look at outlining. For 
his wings I'm just going to put a couple of little lines give him some little antennae a big smiley mouth Lines on the end. And there he is so far. All that's left for me to do now is a little dot on his eye. Up on top there. You can use your pencil nib and dip it in some white paint. Normally I'd go around his eyes and for an outline but I always find when I do it with these type of ones they always look like they've got black eyes so I'm not doing it let's get some legs on you uh, let's do funny legs okay there's his legs and now his arms mm, let's have a look here let's Straight down here with this one, a little fan. Uh, I'm not very good with hands, so I just do a mitten. So there's one, and let's put this one up here. A fan, uh, hands, like a little mitten. There he is, fairly cute. So your other type of bee now then, we might still use Labarts, I'm not so sure, but I'm going to start with a huge body. Turn it around because it's easier for me. Now I'm going to do a big, not quite a circle, but almost an oval for his head and his wings again almost like the top half of a love heart this time i'm going to emphasize the fact that big fat juicy bumblebees have tiddly little wings and there's the top of my love heart they don't look much right now but they will soon enough i'm going to wait now for the black outline to dry so i can fill the white in This guy, it's his body and his head again. The same process with this guy. All I'm going to do is make sure I can round off his head area. I'm not sure whether or not I should do the head into the body. I think I will. Okay stripes and then colour that one and add a little stinger on the end so I'm just going to colour these in now Now this little guy is a side-on profile, so we're going to need a bigger eyeball. I'm going to use the eraser end of my pencil. So I'm going to give him a nice big eye. And I'm going to have it facing relatively toward the front. Whilst that's drying, Let's go around and finish our outline. Even though I'm using paint pens, it's because it's quicker for me. If you guys want to use a nice thin brush, you can do that. 
Okay, and with the lines for the wings, this is a personal choice. You don't have to do these if you don't want to. And what kind of smiley mouth should we put on you? Oh. little antennae then. We're going to put two on. So the first one is going to start on the line because this is the one that's coming from the back and the second one is going to start on, oops, on his head and once this is all dry we will be back to give him some legs as well. Unlike the first one, I am going to put an outline around the eye here. Oh, I'm really hoping he doesn't look like he's got a black eye. Yep, he's going to look like he's got a black eye. Or maybe not. Legs, now then. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've got a choice. You can leave the legs out if you want to. Oh. Got the little dot on his eye. <sighs> Turn around. There you go. Awesome. Two bumblebees. And here they are. Nice, simple little bumblebees. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to support the channel so we can create more content, check out the links in the description box below. Until next time guys, ciao for now and don't forget, keep on rocking!